Hi right, everyone, I hope you're having a great Shabbat and a restful day. So, we're going to start in Matthew 15 and talk about Yeshua where he says that what goes into you does not defile you. So in verse 1 it says, Then came Yeshua, scribes, and Perashim, which were of Yushalayim, saying, Why do your Talmudian transgress the tradition of the elders? For they do not, for they wash not their hands when they eat bread. So this is, this is not a law in the Torah that says you must wash your hands before you eat. It never said that. Then Yeshua uh, said this, But he answered and said unto them, why do, ye, why do ye also transgress the commandment of Yahuwah by your tradition? For Yahuwah commanded, saying, Honor your father and your mother. And he that curses father or mother, let him die the death. But ye say, Whoever shall say to his father or his mother, It is a gift by whatsoever you might be profited by me. So they broke commands and made their own thing, and they made their own laws. And these are the, the Perashim and the people who came against him. They are made their own laws and disgraced the Torah, and they are against the Torah by making their own laws. He says, but honor, and then we're going to go to verse 7. So, ye hypocrites, well did Yeshayahu Yish prophesy of you, saying, Yeshayahu, that is Isaiah. And it says, the, this people draws nigh unto me with their mouth and honors me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. So they teach, they were not teaching the law of Yahuwah God. They they're teaching the laws of men, doctrines of man. They were not teaching the original thing from Yahuwah. But he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goes in to, into the mouth defiles a man, but which comes out of the mouth, this defiles a man. So did Yeshua just make all foods clean? Well, if we stop right there, it would seem so, but that is not where we stop at, if we, because he'll explain in just a second. So Yeshua just said, what goes into a man does not defile him. So does that mean we can go eat pork or unclean foods now, and we are no longer defiled like we were in the days of Moses, the days of David, the days of Daniel? Are we no longer defiled by unclean foods? Let's see what, let's see what he has to say. Then his Talmudium, his disciples, came, then came his disciples and said unto him, do you know that the Perishim were offended after they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted shall be uprooted. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Then Kepha, which is Peter, and said unto him, Declare unto us his parable. And Yeshua said, are ye also yet without understanding? He said, do you not understand this? Do you not get this? He says, do not ye yet understand that whatsoever enters the mouth goes in the belly and is cast out into the draught. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. So he said, so he was, so this isn't even talking about food at all. He's not talking about cleaning your hands. He's not talking about nothing. He's talking about what comes out of your heart, right? It has nothing to do with food. He says, but those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. So what comes out of your heart, it defiles you. He was, this isn't even talking about food. Yes, unclean food will still defile you, but he was not talking about food here. For out of the heart proceeds evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things that defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands defiles not a man. So that, guys, this has nothing to do with food at all. All food is not made clean. Yeshua did not make all food clean. Pigs are still unclean animals. We should not be eating pork. We should not be eating animals that, were not, that are not clean by Yahuwah. If he did not design them for us to eat, they are not for us to eat. So, guys, read your Bibles. I hope you have a great day. And uh, don't eat unclean foods.